but our next speaker has been introduced by this film. It's all the way from Iran, owing to contemporary connections, is Hossein Satari, a dear new friend of mine, owing to this medium called Facebook. Uh, because preparing for Polish Heritage Days, I was posting about it and doing research, and uh, I, I happened to come across his uh, many uh, posts to do with Poles in Iran during the war, uh, during the war, and then his visits to Poland. So, uh, yeah, I shared. I asked if I could share his post, and that's how it started. He joined our group, the Ealing Walking, Talking, and Exploring group, which Carlene uh, Bender helped me set up uh, on Facebook. So, you know, we are all here like a big family, although uh, we are kind of strangers, but we are, we are connected and it's wonderful. So, Hossein, uh, over to you. Okay. Can, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Can you we hear? Can. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, for your invitation, Joanna. Pleasure. Uh, it was in, let's just remember that we agree, all agreed that we would speak for ten minutes, but you know. But <laughs> you, should, you should give me a, you should give me a, a few minutes more, okay? All right. All right. We just, did with everyone else. We did with everyone else. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> just please, everybody, remember that we promised this and. Uh, in order to have a discussion afterwards. So, uh, I mean, I, I am happy to stay, as I wrote in the letter to those who registered through Eventbrite, that I'm happy to stay if some people would like to continue our happy covering, or we can make arrangements another time, because I think there are lots of things to talk about, and it's really pleasant, and that's how we always do on our walks. Thank you. Go ahead, over to you. Okay. Um, can you show me now first? Then it, it starts the slide, okay? We can see your slides. No, no, first, uh, first I wanted to, uh, to, to speak up uh, one, two minutes, and then I start to, uh, to talk in my slideshow, okay? Can you show uh -huh. me now? I, can I speak with the... Uh, we can hear, uh, we can hear yeah. you, so yeah. maybe that's okay, yeah? yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, for your invitation me. It's, I'm really very glad that I could take part in this meeting. So, Wita uh, Panie e Panovia, if I, if I say right, my pronunciation is not very good. So, uh, at first I wanted to tell you why I have uh, interested in to, um, uh, to search about uh, uh, Polish uh, I never say Polish refugee. I always say Polish guests. Our Polish guests who arrive in Iran during the 1942 and 19, um, 1945. Of course, it has been continued later. So, because I have first, uh, I have experienced the war. I have experienced the war by myself. So, when the uh, eight years war in Iran, uh, it was not a good experience. So, I can, I, I don't, I know. What is the meaning of war? I know. What is the meaning of um, crime war? And also, I know what is the meaning of attacks to the people, how they destroy, how they uh, trip to our people, how they attack by people, and a lot of uh, not good experience. But in the war, also, we can find some sweet, some uh, pleasant time uh, that we want to transfer to our next generation. So history is just a lesson that can transfer to our next generation. So when I, uh, my friend, I uh, invited my Polish friends to come to Iran, and during their stay in Iran, they asked me to try to uh, make some, uh, uh, some uh, archive about the uh, uh, Polish guests who, were, who came to Iran, and it's about five years that I started to collecting by some, uh, for example, documentary by some uh, eyewitness at eyewitnesses in Iran, some people, uh, some Polish people who are living here yet, and uh, some books, 
some uh, which has written by Polish, our Polish guests in Iran, and some uh, old magazines, old uh, old uh, newspapers, and uh, so. During the last five years, I could collect um, some uh, good news about the uh, sweet points of uh, Polish uh, living in Iran. So I want to start. Uh, okay, uh, uh, can you send? Uh, go to next. Ella, can you go to the next? Okay, and one more press. Okay, in uh, first we want to start by uh, okay one one okay. So when uh, I will start in March from March 1942, when the first ship arrived to Anzali port in Iran. So the, uh, as you see, this is the first one, the first ship which arrived in Iran, 2,500. 2,500 refugees was in the first ship which arrived here. So it, every day there were uh, 2,500 persons were arriving by each ship. It is not passenger ship. It is, as I heard it, it is cargo ship. So there was uh, um, a lot of child, a lot of uh, soldiers, and also a lot of uh, uh, families who arrived here. So go to the next one. Next, next, next slide, please. Ella, okay, one more. Uh, so, uh, uh, totally 116, 116 uh, Polish arrived to Iran from the border of uh, Khazar, uh, Sea. So, uh, and uh, 41,000 of these people were not uh, soldiers and they were, uh, were not from the army. They were civilian, civilian people who arrived here. And uh, you know, the first time, uh, go to the next, next one. Okay, it is, uh, and uh, next, one, pre one press more, and one press more. Okay, this is, uh, when they arrived, they started to set up a camp in Anzali. They first stopped uh, camp in Anzali. So in the arriving, in the right side, if you see, when some of the Polish guests who arrived in Iran, they went to the Caspian Sea and they make a happy party. They made a happy party and they were happy that they arrived in Iran. And in the others, uh, picture also, you, you can see the smile. Most of the picture in Anzali, which I have seen it, there is smile in the picture. In the smile of the ladies, in the smile of soldiers, in the smile of them. When they arrive here, because uh, one of the, um, uh, one of the uh, um, memory of the Polish ladies was when we arrived in Iran, we arrived at paradise from the hell. This is what she said. Okay, next one. But unfortunately, unfortunately, when they arrived in Iran, some of the special, uh, some of the uh, children, first, it's better that I say that about 5,000 children were Jewish who arrived in this group. So 5,000. And then 41,000 were the uh, civilian, child, ladies, and their family. So in arriving, most of, uh, some of the children, especially some of the children, has uh, infected by uh, typhoid, by uh, some um, illness, so they couldn't uh, tolerate. Uh, and 639 of the Polish guests, uh, unfortunately, died in Anzali in the first step. And they have buried in the graveyard of Anzali. You can see three pictures of this uh, place. It looks like a garden in the Anzali port. So can you go to the next one? One more, more please. Yeah. The first, uh, the, but the main, the main refugee camp was in Tehran. So you can see the right side, it is the first camp. And the second, uh, the left side, you can see there was some salon for the uh, uh, Polish who arrived here and they started to work. They started to, for example, in the left side, you can see some ladies are uh, sewing some uh, clothes for the soldiers. Go next one. Okay. 
So, it, as I told you, in Tehran, they made uh, four camps, four uh, big camps for 41,000. So, the, the biggest one was the Toshan Tape. In the middle, you can see a lady soldier, Russian lady soldiers, who uh, located in the uh, refugee, of, uh, refugee camp. Now, uh, Dushan Tape is central of Tehran. At that time, it was not, but just now, it is central of Tehran. On the left side, you can see the ladies who arrived in this camp. And the right side, you can see that they, they are in the queue for the uh, take some uh, clothes. Uh, next one. But my sweet story uh, started from here. So most of the Polish uh, came out from the camps and they started to work outside and the communication between Iranian and the Polish started. So many, many uh, eyewitness has written the uh, documentary that they could make a very good connection, very good connection. So um, many of them opened their home and many of them uh, shared their food, shared their um, uh, home with the Polish. So you can see in both of these uh, pictures that they have started to live with Iranian in the Tehran. Okay, go to the next one. But in the, just now, I want to tell you, of course, I know, but just a moment. I know that one of our speakers will talk about the Wojtek, so I don't want to talk more. Uh, she will uh, describe more. So, uh, uh, but I want to tell you a short story about the Wojtek in Iran. Uh, Wojtek was a um, big cop, uh, so it was in the it was living in the Alborz mountain in the east of Iran. So there was a city, a city which was the soldier camp of uh, Polish. Uh, in Hamadan, in, uh, near the mountain of Elbows. So, uh, the hunter has been killed, the mother of Wojtek, in uh, that area. And one of the boy who was living in a village beside the mountain, brought him in the, at home and uh, with him. So, one of the Polish soldiers uh, saw him and he bought it instead of uh, two cans. And uh, Wojtek came to the camp of the army. But one of the things which is very um, favorite for us, for Iranian, is his uh, favorite, favorite of the Wojtek. Wojtek uh, liked to drink uh, beer, to smoke cigarette, to eat cigarette. And after the cigarette, he asked for a cup of uh, coffee. So. It is a nice story, and also in the night, he wanted to sleep with the soldiers in the tent. So he made a good friendship with them. Yeah, so yeah, it is a symbol of love, it's, it's a symbol of friendship between Iranian and, uh, um, Iranian and Polish. Okay, next one. But this is uh, what, why I choose it. This is the face of children. In the left side, top one, you can see the entrance of children, entrance of the children to Iran. But if you come down, you can see that after, after arriving in Tehran, and they, uh, uh, they were living in Tehran, in the, especially in the camp, so their face has been changed. They are smiley, they began to be calm. And this is what we always enjoy to see these pictures, that we could transfer our love, we could transfer our uh, friendship to them. Okay, next one, please. But one thing which is very important for me, when they came outside of the camp, they started to join in uh, so many difficult activities, such as export, such as uh, with a teacher, artist groups, music groups, teachers, as, to be as a teacher, teacher and uh, press one more. And uh, they have uh, start. for example, in the, I choose only three, but I have a lot of uh, this, uh, same pictures. 
in the third down you can in the left side you can see for example uh, Pierre Karloff he was a uh, one of the uh, Polish refugees who came to Iran he started to play in the in a, one of the famous football game Taj the name of Taj was before now it changed to Istiqlal Istiqlal he started to play and also and then he invited to join in the uh, national football game and uh, he was here he was in the national uh, football team until 1956 uh, and uh, in the middle one of the other one uh, of course i told you it, there was a lot of but i choose three for example anna broska Bro Bro i i hope that i my trans uh, my uh, uh, it, it, um, Prosca, yeah she was also I'll help you. Okay, I'll thank you. Sure. Thank you so much. For pronunciation is a little bit tough for me. Thank you very much for. And so she was also uh, she was very famous because she was a teacher. She was a teacher of music. She, she was a teacher of signing, and also she has played in several movies in Iran. One of the famous movie you can uh, check in the uh, internet was White Balan. It could receive uh, some international prizes also. And another one is Mirase uh, Gomshode. Uh, so this is also one of the famous uh, documentary movie. It's about one hour to five minutes, which uh, which is describing about all the documents about the, how the Polish arrive in Iran, how they live here, and what they have done here. I, I advise you if you have time to see it, and also I can send you if you want. And in the left uh, right side. You can see a picture of a group. Yeah, it's uh, this picture is in Polonia Cafe. One of the famous uh, uh, cafe was Polonia. It was for Polish people, Polish armies. So it was in a uh, pleasant place. So uh, many uh, act, uh, many uh, artists have started uh, Polish artists started to uh, work here and uh, to started. Uh, some uh, theater groups, some uh, artist group, so and also they could transfer to our uh, people to uh, uh, encourage them to take part with them. And one uh, one of them, uh, of course, I hope that my pronunciation Kapos, Kaposki. Uh, so she was uh, he was one of the musicians. Kaposki. Okay, thank you, <laughs> thank you. He was also a teacher. Who was uh, teaching piano? Uh, Jonah, you ask me which which kind of instrument I found it. It was piano. Piano lesson to the uh, our king, last king, uh, Shah. Uh, Shah has two sisters, Ashraf. Uh, so he was uh, teaching and uh, to them, and he could uh, arrive to the uh, um, kingdom home. So and he could uh, go and speak with the Shah. He could make a good connection with the Shah family and teach them. And uh, uh, he was very one of the uh, people who could make a very good uh, connection with the Iranian government. Okay, next one. Okay, Be uh, before I go to Isfahan because Isfahan is very famous for uh, Polish. It's very famous. But before I go there. I, I wanted to describe one, one thing more. Uh, when uh, Polish came special, special to Isfahan and before to Tehran, so uh, we had also excursions because it was uh, it was in the war. So excursions of uh, fruits such as bread, such as uh, um, sugars, and something like that uh, was not enough. So uh, the king uh, or um, talked to a minister. Uh, they have to divide all the fruits, any kind, bread, sugar, anything, with the Polish. So they should not, they should not uh, think that they are not at home. So, uh, so the people also started to uh, to share. They share then uh, their food, their uh, um, anything in the home with the Polish, and. When they were in Tehran, one of the things which I wanted to describe it was the, uh, they started to uh, to ask the government 
to give them uh, uh, some time for the radio uh, to talk with the other Polish in Iran or other uh, places. So they could ask the, go the government at that time to, give, uh, to establish a radio, uh, po uh, Poleski, Poleski radio. So they were broadcasting the radio program uh, in a special hours to other, to other, I make a communication with other Polish in Iran. So, and also they could make an uh, association, association of uh, researching uh, culture of Polish, Poland and Iran in uh, 1944 in Tehran also. And uh, he was also Machaleski, Mach Francesco Mach Frances Machaleski. He started also to transfer the uh, Pol uh, the Iranian culture to the Poland. And he started the first uh, association in Krakow, uh, in uh, Krakow. So, but now I will go to, uh, because I, I, it's, I have to hurry. So uh, we will go to uh, Isfahan. Isfahan was a very special place for Polish. As you see, I, I can send a lot of pictures from Isfahan. And uh, when they arrived in Isfahan, special most of them was the young, and children, young uh, and young girls, and young family. So there are about 2,000, 2,000 children entered to Isfahan, and they started to live with the Isfahan people. Can you go to the next one? Ne next slide, please. Okay. So there is some picture I choose. Uh, there is, I told you, I can send a lot of more, but there is some pictures. Uh, which uh, uh, which is from the child, uh, children of Islam, and also in the right side top, you can see the uh, stamp of Poleska uh, po Polish uh, Isfahan children, and then the other pictures also you can see that they arrived in Isfahan, and if you if you uh, if you have time to read about the Polish children Isfahan, you can find a lot of a lot of memory from there. And some of them, when they wanted to leave the Isfahan, was crying, they didn't want to leave. They wanted to stay there. So uh, they, uh, there was also a good church, one. So in the Sunday, they could go to church uh, and they had uh, football game, their volleyball games. In uh, volleyball game uh, also was uh, one of the Polish team was uh, started to uh, play with the other uh, uh, girls in Isfahan, and then uh, they could uh, establish cafe, they could establish uh, theater, they could establish so many places in Isfahan. And uh, next one, please. So this, this I collected some pictures. This uh, in Isfahan, in Chaharbagh. Chaharbagh is very uh, famous street in Isfahan. There was a, a studio, photographer, a photographer studio which has been directed by uh, Mr. Abu Qasim Jala. So, after he died, they could find more than 1,000 negative film, a negative uh, film, which, was, which has written in all of the box one by one, Polish one, Polish two, Polish three. So it means that there was a picture of Polish who has gone to his studio and he's, he got some uh, pictures. So I just know it is a few, but I have issued some in my uh, Facebook, and uh, you can, if you also interested, I can send you more. That in Isfahan, they could feel at home, and uh, also they could enjoy uh, their stay. Yeah. There was some uh, Polish also uh, Polish uh, school who were teaching Polish language, mathematics to Polish, and also they have invited some Iranian also to join them and to learn. Can you go next one? Okay. But uh, just now, uh, I, uh, some of the, uh, one more, some of the Polish uh, didn't leave Iran. Didn't leave Iran, and they, uh, some of them, they married, some of them didn't live here. So, uh, a number of Polish also uh, has become the Iranian. We can remember, and I wanted to only to show uh, the, uh, uh, three ladies, which is very um, famous here. The first one, Anna Orska, I told you that she was 
and the teacher, she was an actor, actress, and also she was uh, uh, working very much and also very sign, good signing and could speak in Farsi also very well. The second one, Helena, Helena Estamak also died nine years uh, after uh, Anna. So she has uh, written one uh, book by uh, providing of her husband, Mr. Nick Poor. It's uh, the name of this book is From Warsaw to Tehran. So it is very, very useful. So he, she described very well how arrived here, how they uh, passed through the border to Iran and how, why she didn't left Iran. She said, my heart from Polish, but I, uh, I, my body is, uh, my, my, my heart is from Polish, myself is from Iran. So she loved Iran very much. And the last one is Maria Biden also, uh, recently, uh, I, I put in my uh, uh, Facebook, she has played uh, recently a new documentary movie, Maria Biden. She passed, uh, unfortunately, last month in uh, Tehran. So in, uh, in Tehran, uh, Polish graveyard. Can you go next? Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, during the stay of Polish in Iran and the people who didn't leave to Iran, so about 1,942 uh, 1, uh, grave, 42 people, uh, Polish has been died and they have buried in uh, this uh, cemetery, in this graveyard. You can see some picture of this graveyard. It's, uh, so you can see the name of all the people who have been died here when they have uh, died and uh, so there is identify the name and the, uh, uh, the name and the date of uh, Barry. So about uh, uh, 400, uh, 408 tombs also uh, belong to the Polish soldiers. Uh, of course, there, there is also from, uh, most of the uh, grave. If you see, they have carving 42. Uh, 42. Uh, it means that. Uh, uh, most of them have been died in 1942 because I told uh, because of this, so much of disease uh, like typhoid and something like this. So they couldn't tolerate and uh, unfortunately they have been died and they have been uh, buried here in, uh, in this cemetery. Can you go one more? So this is my, uh, I, uh, by helping of uh, Joanna, I send this message to you. Mm. So I, this is what I wanted to tell, but I don't know. Can I transfer my heart feeling to you or no? I hope that I, I could transfer. But one thing which is very important that I wanted to say in the end, because I tried, I tried to say to, uh, come. it is not MP4, it is MP400, because I could not, tell all of the things, uh, all of the histories. But when I, when I was started to speak in English, because most of the Iranians cannot speak in English, so my mother told me, you want to speak in English? I say, yes. So she advised me, learn to speak in art language. Uh, so I was a child. I didn't know what is the meaning of art, what is the meaning of art language. My mother told me, art language means if you don't know any language, but you can transfer your feeling by your heart, by your, uh, so anybody who speak with you, who see you, who touch, uh, who started in connection with you, uh, that person should be rich, your heart language. So I want to say yeah, my yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm so terribly I, sorry. <laughs> But you know, I'm looking at the time, and oh, I know, I, I know, I, 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 but I tried. I did, I did, I did my best. To, I, to know, I know, <laughs> yes, oh, thank because, you, because I know. Yes, thank you, Hossein. Yeah, everybody I, I understand. The chat is thanking Hossein. Please feel invited to our next uh, evenings. We have fewer speakers. Uh, as it happened uh, today, uh, mm -hmm. was kind of. Uh, 
quite uh, quite a number of speakers, the, the the largest, due to some people's availability, and you know, so so that's how it is. But please feel welcome to our next Sundays. Mm -hmm.